To make the marshmallow models, you'll need marshmallows that you've laid out for about 24 hours to 48 hours. If you lay them out longer than that, it'll be too hard to put the pot cleaners into them. The reason you do that is to lay them out is to let them dry out a little bit. They're a little easier to handle. They're not sticky and uh, it discourages the kids from eating them. So you need pot cleaners, you need a Sharpie marker and some old scissors because you're gonna be cutting the pot cleaners with the scissors so you don't wanna use your good scissors. So you can see I've made some already and uh, let's make nitrogen. Nitrogen has three pot cleaners for one bond. You'll see that on uh, uh, instructions. And they need to be about two and a half inches long. You can measure them or you can just estimate. It's not important. Um, kids may notice that there is a triple bond or they might say three pot cleaners. Um, it's okay if they notice. Um, we're just building them that way because it to get the effect you need, they need to be built accurately. Triple bonds are a little stronger than single bonds, so we're going to go ahead and put that in there. I think I actually have. There you go. And you just push them in a little ways, and that's the molecule. Then you'll take a, a Sharpie marker, and it's easy to write on them since they've dried out a little bit. So we'll mark them. And that's the way you put them together. I have some already built. Um, I'll show you, this is the carbon dioxide. So there, there's two bonds in here, double bonds, and uh, the carbon goes in the middle. It doesn't really matter. Kids, if you put them the other way, it's still gonna work. Um, the methane is the biggest molecule. And in the picture, in the teacher's guide, it shows one built kind of like this. And that's a uh, tetrahedron. If you want to put it together like this, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. And here's water. Here's oxygen. It's got a double bond. And uh, what the kids are going to do is to move them around. And what they'll notice is that the water, the methane, carbon dioxide kind of wiggle when you move them around. Uh, the atoms are not rigidly connected, and so they're able to move around. The oxygen and the nitrogen, not gonna wiggle as much. They may wiggle a little bit, but not much. And so these really are floppy, and uh, that'll set them up to, to learn why greenhouse gases do what they do in the atmosphere.